you know, UConn's just got another good basketball team. It, it, it's just different. It's a different kind of good basketball team. Paige is a very special player. And yet the experience of Williams, the experience of, of, of the older players, of Dodo, Nelson Odota, they're, they're just a, a, another good UConn basketball team, another very good UConn basketball team. And they're just going to get better as the season moves along. I thought our players competed hard tonight, but we didn't execute well enough offensively and um, you know, couldn't make enough stops. We, we, we battled them defensively, but couldn't make enough stops. And, and offensively, we didn't find any real rhythm until the second half a little bit. But still, it's a very good UConn team. Okay, we'll move on to questions. Anybody have anything for Coach Bruno? Hey, Doug, you, uh, this is Doug with uh, First Connected Media. You, you, you mentioned- okay. uh, I'm, I'm not hearing, is it coming through the sound? Can you hear me? I, I, I'm not hearing you, I mean- you, um, you mentioned Olivia Nelson and Dota. Can you just, you know, Reflect on uh, her performance a little bit. You know, much trouble. Uh, I see. You know, they had some success in the paint there with her and uh, Edwards. Well, they're they're two very good. Yeah, you can't forget about Edwards here either. They're two very strong uh, inside players. They're 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 throwbacks in the sense that they are low post players, and you don't see a lot of those anymore because everybody wants to be a stretch and have and play with guard skills, but they, they both are very, very strong with their back to the basket, very strong down low. And, you know, UConn does a great job of putting them in position to um, exploit the defense and, and get the angles to, to get the angles and the mismatches to, to, to exploit their post feeds into the post. So they both are just really, really, they're really strong back to the basket players, They're both very aggressive back to the basket players. You know, Edwards is a great, great rebounder. And, you know, it's just a really, they're just really good competitive inside interior basketball players. And, and they're just only going to get better as the, you know, as the year goes along and they get more experience. We're, we're, we're a small basketball team. I mean, even, you know, we got one six one six two player back at Jordy Allen. We're still waiting on, on Kiara Dolman our other 6-2 player to get back. And, and you know, we're, we're just playing with a really small, a, we, get, we have good players, but we're not very, we're not matching up size-wise. Alexa from the Hartford Current, go ahead. Hi, Doug, good to see you. Uh, UConn held you all to the uh, fewest points total since I believe it was December 1st, 2016. Was there anything unique or special that you saw UConn doing on the defensive end, especially considering they're a fairly young team that's still trying to mesh together on that end of the floor, or is it just uh, took a little bit of time for you guys to find your footing on offensively? Well, the, 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 the UConn writers that have hurt me a, a lot, a lot of times, I, I know I get redundant because we played so many times, but I always call UConn's defense their dirty little secret because they, they do such a good job of executing offensively. That's what everybody notices. But I, I always go into every season as what teams are going to be the hardest teams to get to help my players get open looks against. And UConn is always, if not the toughest team, it's, it's certainly one of the one or two toughest teams we play against year in and year out that makes it difficult to get good open looks. And you know, they, they, they did that again tonight. And I, thought, I just thought in the first half, you know, our players, when a coach like me lets our players shoot quickly, which I do, you can't change that because it's UConn. You have to keep doing what you're doing. But at the same time, a great defense makes you pass the ball four and five and six and seven times. You have to be willing to pass the ball four and five and six and seven times. And when we're not in the habit of doing that, it, it you know, we, we try to do too much individually, not because anybody here is selfish. I really do appreciate the aggressive of our players. But, you know, you saw, I, I thought the third quarter when we cut it to six, we had a few possessions of just keeping the ball moving and keeping the defense moving and, and allowing the offense and, and the movement of the ball and possession with the ball to create better openings for us. And, and you know, that's, that, that's something we are still in a very much learning 
process about. But UConn's always a really, really good defensive team. And then people don't really realize that because their offense always looks so sleek and, and, and efficient. Doug Feinberg from the AP, go ahead. Hey, Doug, good to see you. You too, Doug. And, Are you in the building or are you back in New York? I'm at home. I'm not in the building tonight. Um, okay. So I, I know you've played, you know, many times when they went to the American. Is it nice to know you'll see him again in a month to maybe see if your team's improved in the next month and then hopefully you see him again in the, in the Big East tournament, like as opposed to you play him once in the year in the last seven years and maybe see him in the NCAAs? Doug, let's think about the question. <laughs> we, we love to challenge ourselves to play great people. And we, we love to play a great schedule. And I think I, I, I mean, we really worked hard to prepare our players for UConn being in our league. That's why we took on Louisville a and and Kentucky, just because we knew we were going to be facing a, a very, very good UConn team. It's great to have UConn back in our league. And, and nobody wanted to make in our league more than I did. I, I see this and I say it and I say it and I'm going to keep saying it because I don't know that people want to believe me, but I know I'm right. I know I'm telling the truth. They're the best program in the history of college basketball, men or women. And anybody wants to argue with me about that, I can, I can pull out the facts. So why wouldn't you, as a Big East Conference, want the best program in the history of basketball, men or women, in your league? So I'm really excited that they're back in our league. They're, they're raising the level for everybody in our league. It's going to make it much more difficult for any of us to win regular season or tournament championships, but I still love having them in the league and I love to play against good quality competition. So yeah, when it gets to January 31st or wherever it is that we have to tee it up with them again, we'll be, we'll be ready for another good, tough, hard fought game right now. Marquette's the best team in America because they're the team we're playing this Sunday. Thanks pal. Happy holidays. You too, Douglas. Thanks for covering us. Jeff Jacobs, then we'll go to Carl Adamak. Hi, Doug. Uh, just kind of piggybacking on that question, uh, Gino is going to tie uh, Pat Summit with her uh, with his next victory, uh, 1,098. I was wondering if you could just reflect on the kind of that number. I mean, he has 11 national championships, but that's a phenomenal number. And I saw you just 725 and pass uh, Gray, Gray Meyer, but uh, just kind of reflect on on him hitting that that milestone? Well, I, I mean, Gino came to stores and started the program from the ground up. So my reflection on it is, and my respect for what he's done here at UConn is, goes back to how he started this program from nothing. And Dave Lato's our, our, I love Dave, and I love Dave having on us on our staff, but you get the inside stories about what it was like before Gamble here was built and what it was like to try to build both the men's and women's programs here at UConn up from the, from the bottom. And so, you know, I, I, I really have a lot of respect for the fact that this started from really truly the bottom and it's been built from the bottom up. And, 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 and I just have an unbelievable amount of respect for what he has done to make this happen. And, I, and you know, he grabbed that first national championship and, and, and did what you're supposed to do, translated it into multiple national championships with the help of great assistants and a great stable assistant coaching staff and great players through the years. And, you know, Kathy Oriyama uh, deserves a little bit of credit here also. But, you know, he, he really has done this from the ground up. When I look at his numbers, I, you know the number I look at it all the time? The, the, the percentage number and how close it is to 90%. You know, I know how hard it is to win one college basketball game. And I know how hard it is to, 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 to gravel, gravel up the food chain and just, and just you know, try to win 70% of your games. And here this program is winning 90% of their games. I mean, everybody's making a big deal about the 118 in a row and, and the American. But if you go back and look at what the numbers were in the Big East before re, uh, reallocation or re, re, you know, reconfiguration, you know, his, his numbers were off the charts in that league as well. So it's just, a, you know, it's just great respect for what he does and what he has done here. And, and believe me, I have all the respect in the world for Coach Summit as well and Coach Wooden and all the other Coach Tara, all the great coaches that have put together these programs that, that you know, are, are 
in the speaking point of which one is the top five. But I am the, one of the only, only people who are old enough to remember Coach Wooden's teams, watch Coach Wooden's teams, watch them in person. And, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll put Gino's teams ahead of, of Coach Wooden's teams because of who he's had to play and the amount of, uh, of top 25 competition he's competed against, you know, uh, both in the Old Big East and, and also in his non-conference schedule, that's why I unabashedly say it's the, the, the best program in the history of college basketball, men or women. Thanks, Doug. Carl, go ahead. That's going to have to be our last one. Hi, Doug. Good to see you. Glad to have you here. Um, it was announced earlier that the match in Chicago on January 31st will be the first game televised, first women's game televised on Fox. How meaningful is that? Well, I, I just, I think, first of all, it's huge. And, and Val Ackerman, our commissioner of the Big East, has just been nominated for the Naismith, and she's so deserving of being a Naismith. And it's another aspect of what Val does. I mean, Val put together the, the Fox the Fox contract and and for Fox to identify that women's basketball deserves to be on the, on the big station is really, really, I mean, I consider it an honor to be part of it. And at the same time, you know, I, I'm not um, delusional about, about delusional about why we're part of it. I don't think Fox is picking that game because it's DePaul. I think they're picking it because it's UConn. And then I, I feel very honored to be a part of that. But at the same time, you know, I, I think this is about an entire league and, and I go back to Val Ackerman, I go back to the Big East, and then, you know, it speaks to what Mike did before that. And don't forget, we at DePaul here love being in the Big East. And we played many of these Big East schools back when I was a player before league started. But I got to play against Coach Gavin. I got to I got to see Coach Gavin up close and personal, uh, you know, when I was a young assistant. So, I mean, this is about Coach Gavin. It's about Mike Trangese. It's about Val. It's about all the schools and teams. And obviously, it's about what Gino's done to um, make women's basketball a national brand and a, and a special brand here in the Big East.